Is this the start of something in Denver? On Sunday against the Bucks is the best the Denver Broncos have looked in over two years and certainly the best they've looked this season. The defense helped Baker Mayfield and the Bucks offense to less than 200 total net yards and looks like a top 10 unit in the NFL. On offense, the run game averaged 4.9 yards per carry and Bo Nix looked confident and decisive. He completed almost 70% of his passes for 216 yards. There's still lots to improve on. For example, they went 4-13 and on third downs, but it was a good first step. The driving force behind the improvement was easily Bo Nix. Nix is at his best when he can attack defenses with quick, precise strikes in that 9 yard or less range. Supplement that with well-timed deep strikes to keep defenses honest and utilize his athleticism when the play is breaking down, and you have the recipe for a star Bo Nix. So far this season, that formula hasn't been coming together. He was either too conservative or wasn't trusting what he was seeing. Against the Bucks, that all seemed to change though. The tape showed a player who trusted what he was seeing and got the ball out quickly to his playmakers. 21 of his 25 completions were within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage and completed at a rate of 87.5%. He was also able to push the ball downfield when the opportunities were there. The best throw he had was this back shoulder throw to Sutton against single cover. Doesn't have to be stepping into it either. On first down, right away, he finds this. When plays broke down, he turned to Bo Vick to keep plays alive with his legs, rushing for 47 yards. He looked more confident than pretty much any rookie has so far this season. Makes you wonder what was different about this game. To me, I think the biggest reason for this improvement comes from the most obvious one. First, his receiver stopped dropping the ball. Second, they were actually able to push the ball down the field. In our previous Bonex video, we mentioned that defenses are running higher amounts of two high safety looks and how that might benefit Knicks. Well, the Steelers last week never seemed to come out of a single high safety look. They were practically daring Bo to throw it deep, but the Broncos were rarely able to connect. That was the same story for week one as well, where Knicks went 2 of 14 on throws beyond 10 yards. This week though, he went 4 of 8 for 80 yards. It was clearly a point of emphasis for Sean Payne as two of Bonex's first three attempts were a back shoulder fade to Sutton and a go route to Josh Reynolds. If Knicks and the Broncos can continue to stretch the field vertically, it will open up the underneath stuff Bo loves to attack, and that can make this team dangerous. I wouldn't go as far as saying they're a playoff team just yet. To me, they are still playing in a tough division and I need to see more consistency in Knicks' ability to attack that intermediate to deep range. But hopefully, this game has laid the foundation for that part of the offense to start clicking. If they can build off of it, watch out. Let me know your thoughts though. Tell me down in the comment section if you are confident Bo can be consistent in attacking beyond 10 yards or are you still hesitant? If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our other Bronco videos we have coming out. If you want to watch our video on Bo Nix that I mentioned earlier, you can find that right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emmett Swart from the RFL Show and I'll see you in the next video.